I want to get a good judgment for my son's criminal and brutal murder. That is only me. I'll beg you. This is the last try. I lost my son. They, they murdered my son. That, that day, 2nd of January night, I'll take a decision. Any way I challenge the case. Thousands of people have died or been disappeared in Sri Lanka and the human rights abuses keep happening because people are not being held to account. We need governments around the world to help Sri Lanka break this cycle of violence for good. I can't get back to my son. I want to file the case in front of the international community and I want to get the good judgment that is for the lesson for the Sri Lankan forces or others. Over the years, Amnesty has collected thousands of cases of disappearances. These families need answers and they're not alone. People around the world have written to Amnesty pushing for justice in Sri Lanka and will be taking their demands to the UN in New York next week. We want to stop the other murders, not only Tamils. Now, all community in Sri Lanka, Muslims and Sinhala. Ragihar is just one of thousands of victims who have been killed by the security forces. On a weekly basis, we get calls from human rights defenders, journalists, scared just of speaking out. The government has completely silenced dissent. People, especially the security forces, feel that they have a carte blanche to do whatever they want. <laughs> Victims' families in Sri Lanka want the rule of law. They want courts to function. They want the police to register their complaints. They want to see action taken when someone kills a loved one. Everything is in tension now. Now my family is at the home. Now I am alone to go to the New York. And no, anyway, I'll manage that. During these five years, I'm used, uh, used for these tensions and everything. Now, yes, I'm ready. Right now, there is a panel that's been set up by the UN to look at human rights abuses in Sri Lanka. The world's heard about the atrocities of the Tamil Tigers. Suicide bombings, child recruitment, targeting and maiming of civilians. This doesn't give the government the right to target a civilian population. No one knows the full extent of government abuses. For years, the government in Sri Lanka has been manipulating the media and using it to put across its picture of what's happening in Sri Lanka. Do not be persuaded or influenced by what some propaganda machine tells you. Do not be influenced by demonstrators carrying placards or by cunningly composed booklets and leaflets you may receive in your mail. Sri Lanka has a long history of violence. We're talking about a situation where thousands of ordinary civilians were trapped in a war zone and literally thousands of people were killed. In Sri Lanka, I can't challenge the case I can't pass anything. You know why? Who is the lawyer appear my case in Tringamale? He's got a life threat. We were hoping for 50,000 signatures on Amnesty's petition for a real inquiry into what happened in Sri Lanka. We're already past that target. People have taken action in Costa Rica, Nepal, Thailand. The US gathered 30,000 signatures alone. One person emailed me and said, I have a petition but it only has five signatures on it. Do you really want me to mail it to you? And I, my reaction was, every signature counts. Every person counts. Get it to me, I'm going to make it part of the package to the UN. I think what's important 
for all of us is that we can't let what happened in Sri Lanka ever happen again. That day, I heard uh, two bomb, uh, the one bomb blast at near the beach side. My elder son get back to my house e immediately. Other son also get back to my house, and Raji has not to come to the, get back. Then that time the elder son says there has a bomb blast in beach. Uh, uh, then I think yeah, that, that is the way, the walking way in my house and the temple. My elder son and my wife tried to the call his mobile phone. I am also tried the mobile phone, there are no answers. Once I, I got a one SMS, that, that's only. Then I, after that I am shocked. Ragiha was just sitting with a group of his friends near the Gandhi statue by the beach when a grenade was thrown at them. When Dr. Manaharan tried to get to the scene, he was blocked by Navy guards from entering. I want to go and see, where is he? Uh, he says, no, no, you can't go you now immediately. Purposely they turn off the light under the Gandhi statue. And uh, there's a sound come out, uh, the help us, help us, like that. they are calling Tamil. Padagarango, Padagarango, like that. They, they are shouting in the Tamil word. That is, uh, help us, help us, like that. After that, the, they are open fire, gunfire. This gunfire lights are go down into the earth. I don't know what happened there, really. There is, uh, there are five uh, civilians are dead and uh, two are injured. Then I am damnly shocked. There was a deliberate cover-up because yeah. the government said that the students had been killed by a grenade explosion. explosion. But actually, if you had seen the bodies in the morgue, you could see clearly that they had been shot through the back of the head. Mm -hmm. And yeah, really, that's if, why if, if they I, were I, blocking... I the photos. Yeah. Immediately, I'll get, catch the photos. The first body is my son's body. Everybody is uh, the head injured. Here, yeah, entering is very small hall. And out, out is very big hall. That is recently very, very close firing. Five days showed my son. They must tell the truth. He is, uh, he is uh, no, not a guilty person. He is an innocent person. He was an innocent one. So he must, uh, they must uh, answer. I think the international community have a very good power. Yeah, America and uh, Britain, uh, France, uh, Australia and uh, uh, Soviet Union, everybody have a very nice power. India, they are not used the power in very properly. The UN's made plenty of promises that it will support victims' families in Sri Lanka, but it's time for them to actually deliver on those promises, and they can act. The Secretary General can actually set up a commission of inquiry. It's a question of political will. We've come here today um, representing sort of victims' families in Sri Lanka who are waiting for justice. During these five years, no judgment for my son's murder, the Trinkamala five students' murder. Now I ask him to you and and Honorable General Secretary also. Now more than 50, 55,000 citizens are here. I want to international inquiry and I want to get a good judgment for my son's criminal, vertical murder. That's only my El Becky, <laughs> this is the last try. <laughs> In funeral time, every community 
a lot of crowd. Every community uh, comes to our place and they are, they are joined to the last, give our last respect on our son. He is a very good tape tennis player and his uh, shots are very powerful shots. A lot of time I play with my son, uh, I'm losing. <laughs> really I'm losing, I'm happy. Now I'm happy, my son won me. The UN said they would take this action very seriously. But, you know, I've been working on this issue and working with victims' families like Dr. Manaharan for a very long time. And I'm tired of the UN just making promises and not acting. We believe that that report will be very strong. But our concern is that perhaps the UN will just bury this report. I want people to ask their governments to actually get a copy of this report so that the, it's not just lost in the UN system. People need to be able to read it and see the scale and gravity of what happened in Sri Lanka. This isn't the end of the campaign. The only, the end is when the victims and their families have received justice. This is the next step.